Welcome to this episode of YouTube where the title is Low-Throated Howling, and that pretty much explains what's been going on since uh, Maya's euthanasia. What you're going to hear is Grizzer uh, howling and Denali responding. <coughs> As we've said, this is not the pack dynamics of two young animals who have deposed their dominant animals. Uh, their behavior is much more subdued. And we, you know, again, we saw Shadow Malik depose Mackenzie and Lucas and Lakota in 2002, and it was quite a bit different in that scenario. Uh, first of all, psychologically, Mackenzie and Lucas uh, were uh, in a submissive posture um, after the uh, they were deposed. and. Um, clearly didn't want to uh, re-engage with the pack, um, wanted to be out, and we, uh, again, documented that well and have published uh, a little bit of clips of that in our Highlights of the Ambassador Wolves DVD. What's different here with these two is, again, um, very little excitability, very little high tail posturing against the fence. As a matter of fact, Denali's been spending a fair amount of time next to the enclosure and actually sleeping next to Grizzer's enclosure, and again, the howling tone is much different. Very low-throated. In this clip, Shadow initiates a howl, and the whole pack, uh, uh, Aiden, Denali, and Grizzer, and even Malik, uh, join in on this. But what's interesting is there seems to be a communication scenario. If Shadow starts a howl, Aiden will respond, and, and again, most of the other pack will respond as well. If Grizzer initiates a howl, Denali responds, and uh, again, that's been something that we've been been really kind of watching as those alliances. And so here, I'll just leave you to watch this howling clip. This is Aiden again next to the Wolf Care camera um, in response to Shadow, who is howling in the retired enclosure.
in retirement, uh, Malik, again, continues to show really no uh, adverse reaction to Grizzer being in the uh, pack holding area, uh, which is in view of the retired area. He actually is fairly indifferent to him and uh, continues to uh, pretty much interact as he always does. We are seeing um, a little bit of a sign of that abscess tooth, and that's going to be treated with a, another course of antibiotics, but they were will be scheduled for a complete medical examination, which includes a mobilization and a complete blood work, and we'll have the vet make a final decision on that abscess tooth issue um, at that time. But otherwise, Shadow is, uh, again, very much uh, alert. He is stimulating a fair amount of howling, but he's also responding and howling primarily to Aiden and not so much with Denali. Uh, we see again Shadow um, and Aiden kind of communicating and Grizzer and Denali communicating. Um, but there are times when Shadow starts to howl and everybody replies. And what you're going to hear in the next clip here is Shadow um, going into the top of the den, uh, being in a high uh, dominant position and initiating a howl. In this next clip, what you'll see is Grizzer uh, paying attention to Aiden Denali, who start uh, a play a chase in the main enclosure. And Grizzer is very excited and uh, actually uh, running along the fence line and not in anxiety. You'll notice his tail is up, um, and you'll see his tail wag. You'll see him jumping towards them. Um, he definitely is excited and wants to kind of get in with them. It's not an option. As you can see, wolves are social pack animals, as Grizzard demonstrates with his hollow. Isolation is necessary to heal physical issues, but we will be always cognitive of the psychological issues of wolves, which is why in some people's comments about can't we just put them in smaller areas, that is not an easy task, nor is it in the best interest of wolves to just be isolated alone. So we'll be working on that, and we'll be trying to keep you posted on, on re resolutions we have. Right now, the main issue that we have is wolf care staff spending time with Grizzer at a, any available moment that they can throughout the day and allowing him to interact with them, um, a, as we did with Lakota when she was our sole member of the retired pack. So we'll keep you posted, and thanks for watching.